Good morning guys. Well, this is a very quick explanation video of what to find on your cups. Um, now and again I get a few questions of part identification on your carburetors, on your GPZ. So this is hopefully just a little a bit of a, an assistance to show you what you will find on your bike. So, for some of you it's um, obvious, but not everyone knows that your bike has an engine with four cylinders, and each cylinder has its own carburetor. Okay, so you have a bank of four. Looking from the riding position, the left one is carb number one, two, three, and four. These carburetors are made from the company Kaihin. And these are Kaihin CVK32s. They're called CVK32 because the outside of the carburetor going to the engine is 32 millimeters in diameter. On your carburetors, you have one fuel inlet, which in this case I have no pipe connected, is found between carb two and three down on a T-piece. One hose pipe goes from the T-piece to the petcock. Then each of the carbs, being identical in design and build obviously, have a vacuum port which looks like this. It's a brass nipple, it's a vacuum port. When the engine is running, at the vacuum port you have exactly that, a vacuum. It sucks air into this port. This is used to open the petcock on your fuel tank. This bike does not have a fuel pump, it is gravity fed and there is a fuel tap in the tank which has a diaphragm in it and when the fuel tap is switched to on, the fuel only flows when the engine is running. Here is a vacuum and the vacuum pulls the diaphragm, opens the, the fuel tap and allows fuel to flow here into the carbs. Should also be noted that the petcock on the GPX does not have a prime position. It has on, off and reserve, whereas on the GPZ you have an on, off and prime position. The prime position allows fuel to flow without a vacuum being pulled at the diaphragm here on the vacuum tube. Each carb has the vacuum nipple and sometimes they are set up differently. In this particular case, on this bike here that I'm showing you, we have vacuum nipple one and four connected via a pipe. Okay, they are connected together. And two and three, so two and three, are also connected to a pipe, but this has a loose end. This is the pipe that goes to your pet cog. Okay, This is the one that opens the fuel tab. So you have two pipes coming from your carburetors. You have the fuel line in and the vacuum out. Now some of you guys don't have these connecting pipes. What you have are rubber bungs over the vacuum nipples and the pipe for the petcock usually in 99% of the times always comes from number two which is this one. Your bike has three cables, one, two, three. The inner one, this one here, is the puller. So when you twist the throttle, it opens the butterfly. And when you put the throttle back, this one 
manually pulls the throttle back. So it's not just closed under its own spring tension. Okay, if you remove the closer, yes, it will probably still operate. But uh, it is, these bikes are designed to have an opener and a closer. And the third one is this one here. This one is your choke cable. When you pull the choke lever, it pulls the choke rail back. This whole rail is attached to the four choke plungers, one on each carb, and opens the chokes. You can see the operation on this one here. And this one here actually, as a matter of fact. Okay. Sometimes, if the choke is not correctly adjusted, then the chokes don't close properly. This can ensure rich driving, and when the bike gets warm, it will probably splutter, die, revs will go low. So ensure that your chokes are closing correctly. Between the airbox and the carbs, you have four rubber boots. These are notoriously hard and shrunken. There are many ways in the internet to try to soften these up, get them supple so you can get them back on to the carbs, because this bike hates when unmetered air gets into the carbs not through the airbox, but via air leakage at these boots. There is no long-term way of getting these supple. Yes, you can boil them in water, put them in coke, drop them in diesel, it will make them soft for a while, but they shrink over the years. So you may get them soft to fit, but they won't fit lengthwise because they've shrunk. They are expensive, but if your bike isn't running because these are hard and not fitting, there's no other way around it but to get a new set. Important thing to remember, you have four carbs, one, two, three, and four. Each carb has a vacuum nipple, one, two, three, and four. Sometimes they are connected one to four, two to three with the outlet to the pet cock and sometimes they have a little rubber bung with the outlet on number two. So that's it. I just wanted to very briefly explain what you will find on your CVK32 Kaiheen four-bodied carbs on your GPZ600 Ninja. I hope this helps.